But I've been still writing for people mm -hmm. ever since. You know, I I don't work with Nas, Big Sean, Jeezy, mm -hmm. a bunch of other people, Jeremiah, Ty Dollar Sign, like a bunch of other people. Um Okay. Um so apparently uh this whole Quentin work with Nas conversation is going a little more viral than what I thought cuz now you know people are reaching out to me asking me to clear it up. I have to clear up the fact that I worked with Nas. So okay. And you know off the strength you know I want to shout out to Hit Boy you know, for the opportunity that he gave me when he invited me to the studio and allowed me to work with Nas. Shout out to Hit Boy for that opportunity. I also mentioned other artists that I worked with. From G Easy to Jeremiah to Todd Dalton to fuck it. I mentioned other artists. Writers post their work and talk about their work all the time. You know why? It helps. It also helps with the business of writing when people know that you were part of certain things. It makes people more prone to work with you, you know? It's kind of part of the job uh, is naming your resume or your catalog or whatever it, it's, it's, it, it kind of goes with it, but it's not that way with me because I just so happened to have had a situation with the biggest artist in the world and it turned into a whole fucking ghost writing scandal. And now I am the ghost. Now, anytime people work with me, it's like I'm supposed to be a ghost, but I'm not a fucking ghost. You don't make money being a ghost. They don't pay you. Artists don't give a fuck if you have money or not. They do not pay you. So if you don't get paid and you can't even get the clout from being a part of this shit to get opportunities to get paid, why would I want to be a fucking ghost? Let me say this right now. Quentin Miller. Quentin Miller is not a ghost writer. And I want all the artists out. I don't give a fuck if I never work with another artist again. I don't care. I do not care because I hate the fucking business. I am not a ghostwriter. If you work with Quentin Miller, you worked with Quentin Miller. And you better be okay with saying that you work with Quentin Miller. Now, when it comes to the Nas situation, I was just, I pulled up on Hit Boy. That was a, a situation with Hit Boy. I'm in the room. I bounce some ideas out. There we go. Clear it up. I just bounce some ideas. Couple ideas went. That's that's it. That's all that happened with the Nas shit. But I am not a fucking ghost. I am not a ghost. I'm sick of this shit. Fuck. It's Bryce Davis on the check in. As you can see, Quint Miller responds to writing for Nas. You know, I know I saw the clip. I knew what he meant when he said he worked with Nas. Like, I didn't sit here and think that he wrote verses and Nas just went in the studio and rapped his verses. Like, nah, like some things, you know, people got to understand about, you know, credit is you could throw an ad lib or a track or you can make a minor tweak to a song and you can still get credited for it. So if you're an up and coming artist, why wouldn't you want credit on Nas? You know what I mean? Like, you would want that credit to say you work with so-and-so just like DJ Khaled, you know, him being a producer, you know, if he tweaks a record, if he uh, arranges the record, it gets, uh, produ you know, producer credit. So, you know, but you know how the internet is. They're always trying to get a hot take, always trying to get headlines. So I knew as soon as this came out, how it's going to get misconstrued and whatnot. And so, you know, he, uh, Quentin went on to, you know, address it on his Instagram, letting people know, you know, he worked with Nas, not for Nas, but, you know, is what it is. At the end of the day, you know, the internet, dude, they're going to get at you regardless. So, you know, that's just what it is. So if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.